Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, what's hot and what's not, I'm doing the in or out tag. So this is a really fun tag. So this was originally created by Rick McDonnell um, and I was tagged by Greg at another BBFL read. So I think the tag is actually quite old. I think it was originally created like a year or so ago. Uh, but Greg has resurrected it because he'd never done it before. Um, and as I say, it's a really good one. It's 26 questions and you just have to say whether you think that thing is in or out. Um, all bookish related, obviously. Um, so I'm going to dive in and go through the questions. So question one is reading the last page first. So definitely out. My dad, uh, I don't know if he still does it, but he used to do this. So he used to read like the first chapter of a book and then read the final page to see if it had a happy ending or not. Uh, and if it didn't have a happy ending, he wouldn't read the book, which, which I think is bonkers. Although maybe that's partly because I do quite like unhappy endings. Um, question two, enemies to lovers. So yes, I like enemies to lovers. Uh, I am um, getting more and more into romance recently and I think enemies to lovers is probably my favourite uh, like romance trope. Uh, I think it's a really entertaining uh, kind of you know plot arc if you like. Um, next one is dream sequences. Um, I don't know. I can go either way on dream sequences, really. Um, I quite, I do quite enjoy them, and I think they're a good way of digging into a character's psyche a bit more. Um, but equally, when they're kind of tricky and you read it and you think it's really happening and then you find out it's a dream, that can be a bit annoying. So I think overall, I'm probably going to go out on that one. Um, next one is love triangles. So yes, definitely in. Again, uh, it's a romantic trope I really enjoy. Um, I think it just adds a lot of interesting tension uh, to a story. Um, so yeah, very much enjoy that. Uh, next one is cracked spines. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't... I. I don't mind cracked spine. So if I find a second-hand book and it's got a cracked spine, it's not going to break my heart. I, I, I would never deliberately crack the spine of a book. But if it happens when I'm reading it, I can live with that. So I guess on, on balance, that's probably just about it. Um, number six is Back to My Small Town. So again, I really like this trope. I think it's a really interesting um, way of getting into a character, pulling out stuff about their past. I mean, it's definitely cliche, but I, I think it frequently works really well. Um, next one, Monsters are Regular People. So yes, I like that one too. Um, so I enjoy books where, um, A, books where you feel sympathy for the monster, but also books where, you know, it's the normal people that end up being the monsters. Um, Number eight, no paragraph breaks. So no, definitely not. I don't like this. I like paragraphs. Um, I find I just get lost on the page if there aren't paragraph breaks. Um, number nine, multi-generational sagas. Um, again, I can kind of go either way on these. There have certainly been some that I've enjoyed, but it's not uh, like a kind of genre that I would seek out. Um, so if it's something that is within, uh, you know, the kind of, genres that I normally enjoy and it's a, a multi-generational saga then I'm fine with it but I'm not a big fan of kind of historical fiction um, so I think that's probably an out um, number 10 rereading so in the past I would have said this was an out for me but um, recently I've been reading rereading a lot uh, and I've really really enjoyed it I've really enjoyed going back to some books that I'd read before experiencing them you know in a different way it, you know a lot of them were books I'd read when I was a lot younger so when I was kind of in my teens or 20s and reading them again now that I'm middle-aged uh, was a really interesting experience so definitely in for rereading um number 11 artificial intelligence um I think basically in um I do enjoy there certainly have been a number of stories I've enjoyed with artificial intelligence again it's not something I would seek out a book for just because it had it in it um, but I think you can do really interesting stuff with artificial intelligence in terms of, um, you know, kind of using it as a mirror to humanity. So thinking about how, um, a, a, you know, a machine thinks compared to a, a human and, and how they might feel emotions and things like that differently. OK, number 12 is drop caps. So if you don't know what that is, it's this kind of thing where you have a larger capital. Is that going to focus? There we go. So you have a larger capital at the start of a, of a chapter. Um, so I actually really like those. I think stylistically they just look nice. Um, they make a book feel a bit posher, don't they, when you've got those. Um, so yeah, I'm in for those. Um, number 13, happy endings. So generally speaking, yeah, I'm a fan of happy endings. I don't have to have happy endings in my books, um, but I don't mind a happy ending. Depends on the book, really, doesn't it? Um, 
Number 14, plot points that only converge at the end. Yes, I like that. I'm a big fan of uh, kind of mystery and detective fiction where that happens quite a lot, where you have, you know, multiple things going on in the book that come together at the end to, to form the solution to the mystery. Um, number 15, detailed magic systems. No, couldn't, couldn't give a shit about detailed mag magic systems. Uh, that's definitely out for me. I find that things like that um, are what I would consider to be unnecessary detail um, that just pulls you away from the story. Um, so definitely out for me on that one. Um, number 16, classic fantasy races. So again, yep, yeah, don't really care either way. Um, I'm certainly, I'm not really a big fantasy reader, to be honest with you. Um, so I think I would be out on that one. Um, I would rather, if I'm going to read a book with, uh, you know, imagined uh, creatures and races in it, I would rather that they be something that the authors come up with themselves rather than just, uh, you know, kind of repeat repeating Tolkien. Okay, number 17 is unreliable narrators. So definitely in for that. I do enjoy an unreliable narrator. Uh, number 18 is evil protagonists. So I would say I'm in for this. I certainly don't mind evil protagonists. What I prefer... Um, what I like even more than evil protagonists is kind of morally neutral protagonists. So protagonists who maybe do some things that are, um, you know, that could be considered evil as part of the book, but aren't necessarily evil themselves, if that makes sense. Um, number 19 is the chosen one. So you're not really a big fan of this trope. So I think I will be out for that. Certainly there are some books I've read that have had that kind of thing in, which I've enjoyed, but I think it's a bit kind of cliched and hackneyed, to be honest with you. Um, Number 20, when the protagonist dies, it very much depends on the book. Um, but generally speaking, I don't have a problem with that at all. And if it's done well and if it makes sense, um, then I would be in for that. Um, 21, really long chapters. Not really a fan of really long chapters. I do prefer shorter chapters, definitely. And in fact, when I read Moby Dick recently, that was the thing. One of the things that I found made it much more readable than I expected was the fact that the chapters are really, really short. Uh, so definitely in for that. Um, next one is uh, French flaps. So if you don't, I always think French flaps sounds a bit rude, but if you don't know what a French flap is, it's on a paperback when you've got flaps like that. So yes, I like those. I think they, again, like drop caps. I think they feel a bit posh. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely a fan of French flaps. Um, number 23, deckled edges. So I wouldn't have known what deckled edges were. Um, fortunately, uh, Greg showed a book with deckled edges in his video, so I'll leave a link to that. Um, do watch it if you don't know what deckled edges are, but basically it's where the page edges of the book aren't completely flat and, and straight like that. They've kind of got bits taken out of them, if that makes sense. Um, so I did have a look, and I don't think I've got any books like that. Um, Greg has a fantastic library, so he has. Um, so do I like them or not? I'm not really sure, because I can't remember the last time I read a book that had deckled edges, so I'm not sure on that one. Um, number 24, signed copies by the author. I'm not really fussed either way. So I've, you know, I have a few signed copies of books in my collection. Um, it's nice when you get a signed book. I enjoy it, but I wouldn't seek them out and I certainly wouldn't pay over the odds for a signed book. Um, 25, dog earring pages. I don't have a problem with that. And I know some book lovers really hate it. Um, but I, I, you know, I will try always try and use a bookmark if I've got one. Uh, but if I haven't, I would much rather dog ear the place, uh, the page, than lose my place. So I am quite happy to do that. Uh, and the final question, number twenty-six, chapter titles instead of numbers. Yes, I love chapter titles. Um, I've always really enjoyed chapter titles. I think they are, when done well, a really good way of just adding a little bit of extra information for the reader, um, which can. Um, just add to the impact of the book somehow. Um, I, I, I think they can be brilliant. Sometimes they're just a bit boring, but like when done well, they can be really good. Okay, time for me to tag some people. Uh, so I'm going to tag uh, Michelle at Michelle's Melancholia, uh, Crystal at Fibre Artsy, and uh, Gareth at Book Songs and Other Magic. So interested to see what you make of these 26 questions. I think this is quite a fun tag. Okay, time for a random book from the shelves. So today, something a bit different, something I don't read that much of. It's a YA book. So it's A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. Um, so as I said, I don't read much YA at all, um, but this is one that a lot of people seem to really like. And I have seen the movie. So normally I would always try to read the book before seeing the film, but I have seen the film with this. And I thought the film was excellent. Um, so I'm interested to read this at some point and it's, it's not very long and it's got huge margins. <laughs> 
absolutely huge margins. So I don't think it will take me very long to read. Um, so yeah, I will pick this up at some point and give it a go. So hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if there's any questions in there um, that you have a particularly strong opinion on. Um, do let me know whether you'd be in or out on them. Uh, but yeah, as always, thanks very much for watching. Hope you're safe and well out there. Hope you're reading good stuff and I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.